Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. You can watch and follow and subscribe at Joey143Jenny on YouTube and also on Instagram, Joey143Jenny. You can also follow along with us on our Facebook, Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. So today what I'm doing is I'm continuing working with maps. I'm determined to do some things with maps. So I started this yesterday. Um, if you watched that video, I mentioned that um, one of my problems is I just don't know when to stop because I don't know uh, enough about painting and, and watercolor. So I started watercoloring the map because I had seen in a book where um, an artist had watercolored over a uh, map. It was beautiful. And then they framed it and hung it. Um, <laughs> So what I did was I had painted some vines and I painted a flower and you can see here that I did some painting uh, with watercolor. Well, uh, as you can imagine, when you don't know when to stop, you watercolor and paint can get muddy. So that's what happened. So I wasn't happy with it. But I still like the idea of this little insert travel journal and um, and using the watercolors. So I decided to go ahead and keep this. So what I did on the side, ah, here comes our train. What I did on the side is I had this paint chip. I think it's a, um, oh, what is it? Oh, anyways, I can't remember the brand of it, but it's so pretty. Anyways, I had this paint chip from something. I don't know what, but I just thought, well, I'll use it as the pullout. So basically what I did was I cut some leaves and some petals here to compensate a little bit for my muddiness. And, um, and then also for this flower, it was uh, just craziness. You can see on the back was a little bit crazy. Uh, I left it on the back because I didn't mind the back, but the front was just a little too much. Um, I did add some extra journaling point, part, a little papers, and I put a little bit of acrylic paint on some little splattery things and um, just some little dots and a little bit of washi tape. Uh, so what I thought I would do here is to kind of continue this vine sort of through here so I thought I would do a little bit of that real quick and it was basically pretty simple all I did was I I used the paper from the map that just had writing on it um, you know this kind of writing it was the ledgers and the um, mileage and such and then I just cut really thin and narrow I probably could duplicate you know put some papers together and duplicate but um, this is really about the extent of it for me so I didn't want to complicate it too much more for myself um, so I thought I would cut a few more of these and and you know kind of carry that petal vine through the journal a little bit <clears throat> And then I think this as a little insert pocket journal for, you know, to put inside a travel journal, I think then it'll be complete. Um, I don't know, maybe on the back you could do something. Uh, you could do something. I, I mean, it's not that you couldn't do something. I just don't know if I am going to do anything. I might, if anything, just add some... Uh, coffee dye paper scraps just to be able to you know journal a little bit more uh, because let me show you the back is um, the back is you know the ledger so yeah anyways so that's that I want I thought I would finish this really quick and then I wanted to show you a couple of other things that I thought of with the maps, uh, some of them more successful than others, um, yeah, but all in play, and it was really, it's been really fun, because I've just been determined to figure out a way to use my maps, um, I am gonna do some 
I am going to use my maps on an upcoming uh, calendar collage. You know, I've been working on the calendar collage. So I am going to use the map, some maps on that too. I think that'll look really fun, you know, and just kind of mix it up and use some of these things as well as actual map pieces. Um, I do have quite a bit of scraps, so I'll use that. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we have enough to do something here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oops. <clears throat> okay. So I'm just going to be a little bit mindful of the fold over here um, on this little daisy looking thing. Um, there was a few petals that went over the fold and uh, I did have to use a little bit of art glitter glue to, you know, really get that down nice. So now I don't know. Let's see. Where's my pen? Might have been better to maybe draw the vine first. I'll just do that. Just kind of give us some direction. Um, I don't know. Whenever you cut out stuff like this, it's fun. I think it's fun to, you know, to put down. And so I think this is going to be nice to kind of carry through the travel journal. This one is going to go over, but thankfully it's it's quite large. I'll put it down here a little bit so it has a little ways to fold. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I got up this morning. Do you ever, sometimes you get up and sometimes you just think, oh, this day. I don't know if, what I'm going to be able to do today because I don't have it in me. And then other times you get up and you're like, yes, the day has started. Finally, the sun has come out and I can get up and do things. That's how it was today. Got up, <clears throat> uh, sat and had a cup of coffee and then worked on some chores, laundry. I had made kind of a big dinner last night, so... I'm sorry about my throat. Excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Anyways, so um, I just did not have it in me to wash the dishes and all of that yesterday, last night. Um, so what I did was, you know, I think I told you before that I just rinse them off and then the next day I'll deal with them. Well, that is what happened last night. So I did that this morning and I um, always like a clean kitchen. I always clean the kitchen before I go to bed. I don't like to get up to a messy kitchen, but I, I don't always, um, you know, toss them into the dishwasher or whatever. Okay, now let's see. What did I do on this one? Did I put it? Okay, so I kind of outlined them. So I think that looks okay. So I did that this morning and then um, went to the library yesterday, and uh, I found this really neat book. So I was looking through that. Uh, I like it because it has words and pictures, and um, I'm quite the visual person. So... I was looking through that and reading it, and I thought, oh, this is going to be a really neat book. It's a book. I'll have to show it to you. I can't remember the name of it right now. <clears throat> um, 
but I'm looking for some ideas for upcoming upcoming events that we're going to have um, like family members and things at and so it was an entertainment book but what's interesting is it's actually a devotional book so I thought oh that's neat so I'm gonna use it as a morning devotion <clears throat> so I was looking through that I think that turned out okay now let's see Let's just do this next page, and then I think this little guy is going to be done, at least for now. Um, maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do it in this. Oops. I find that it's a little bit easier for me to do it if I have smaller sections, so I cut or tear little sections. So maybe this one will be another another daisy or something. So anyways, yeah, I went to the library and I looked at books, got some great ideas. And um, what else did I do? Did some stuff in the craft room worked on Easter things just had a really nice day really nice day and um, today like I said I hit the ground running and I was super excited that I felt that way because sometimes you don't but when you do I do not like to waste it you know hanging around doing nothing, so to speak, you know, things that aren't delightful, I guess I should say. And it is nice again outside, you know, fairly nice. It's a little chill in the air. I put on my um, flannel <laughs> and, uh, but it's, that's all I'm going to need is just this flannel. I like to you can see it's cut off on my sleeves. I like that. Um, I like to, like at a thrift store or whatever, find, or a garage sale or whatever. I like to purchase like a men's or even a woman's larger size, um, you know, flannel shirt. And then what I do is I cut the sleeves off because I'm, I'm fairly short. I'm really... Yeah, I'm pretty short, and so my arms are short. And so I cut this, I cut the cuff off, and then I cut the collar off because the collar, I, I don't like that up and around my neck, and uh, I barely have a neck to begin with, and then you have that thing, and then and then it's a no neck situation. So, so yeah. So anyways, I love the raggedy look of them. And I like that they're just enough to, where should I put this flower? <clears throat> I like it that they're just enough to, you know, keep you warm, you know, not too heavy. Not one that you're taking off, putting on, taking off, putting on. Let's see, I'm going to kind of go around like this, and then I'll put some on top as well oopsie okay yeah so that's what I've been doing and I've, I've just had these uh, maps on my mind and I'll show you a few other things that I've been working on with it and uh, with the maps and just having a having a really good time with it. Oh, I think that's gonna look nice. I should have, if I had seen this a little bit differently, maybe I would have put the green, all the greens down, and then put the little white ones on top. 
but I think this will still work out. We've been watching the, oh, I can't think of the name exactly, but it's the British cook-off, you know, bake-off show. And uh, we both, you know, I think I told you we both like to cook, but this is really fun because um, they make things that we don't normally make or even know too much about. And so that's a lot of fun to watch that and to learn about different things. You know, it's such a challenge for the bakers because the bakers in this show are, they're not pros, you know, they're, they're commoners like us, like me. Well, I don't know about you, but like me, um, I want to put something right there. Maybe I'll double this up. And I have a little, yeah, sorry about the, yeah, here it is, about all that, okay. I only doubled it because I didn't think it was thick enough to go through here without jamming, so... I don't know, that might be a little bit clunky, but maybe I'll use this as a template and just tear around in a circle. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Lid. All right, I think that... <laughs> and there I was trying not to put it on a... Uh, on a corner on a bend and there it is right on the bend but that's all right uh we'll we'll let it rest okay so what did i do here i just i just went around the ends and just called them out a little bit i can see right here i need to Put a little something. And I think I'm just going to put some dots. Okay. All right. I think it's all right. It was fun. Okay. All right, so now I think what I'm going to do, will it bend without fussing too much? Okay, let's see how it looks. I think it's okay. I think it'll be kind of fun. It's a nice size, it's crickly. Just felt this little leaf coming up here. All right, so now let me show you what else I've been up to. Put that out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, I thought, what, what if I print? on some paper. So what I did was I cut some, I cut it, uh, the maps, eight and a half by 11. I cut one a little bit shorter because I didn't have enough paper, but it wasn't much shorter. And I, I think it looks okay. These are, oh, I wrote it down, hopefully what this is. Botanical wallpaper swatches from the torn page. So what I'd probably do is cut this out or you could use it for collage, but some of them are quite pretty, you know? I 
as I went through this, I can tell you, and here's another, here's an example. It, it works better, the, obviously, the darker the picture, but yeah, it's kind of a, a blending. Like you, you have to be mindful. Is it dark enough to be able to see it with all the lines and rivers and mountains and all that? But is it light enough? I'm sorry. Yeah. Is it light enough that you can still see that it's on a map? You know, so like here, you can still see the map, but you can barely see any of the little roses and things. And I got this. It's called a Bella Background. I could not find it in my Etsy purchases. It is labeled as limited, so it might have been taken down. But anyways, so that one didn't turn out as well, but I, it, I don't hate it. Then this one was, I couldn't find the, I, I couldn't find this one either. Um, this is a scrapbooking of nature background. And this one, you can't see it because, again, it's very, very light. But it has cherubs and things like that, but you really can't see that much. But I like the look of it. It made it very vintagey. You can see here some flowers made it vintagey. Um, this one was, um, if you saw my video where I had purchased the Artsology bundles, uh, this one was in one of the Artsology bundles. And I really liked this. I thought that turned out really nice. So, and then this one is from Roxy Creations, her blues. And so, Try not to look at the print from Roxy, but look at the map. So this is a ledger, and then this is part of a countryside, you know, the land. And then this is, I guess, the yellow. What is the yellow? Oh, the yellow is one state, and then this must be the other state. So this is a bordering state, and then this is the state of the map, whatever the map was. Um so now look at uh, at her beautiful blues on top of all of those colors. Isn't that neat? Isn't this fun? So this would be really fun for, you know, to make a collage out of. But I don't know if I'm going to do that because today I want to try a couple of things. And I might use those um, in what I want to try. All right. So here's a couple of other things. Here's the same thing as this. Uh, only I, it's, it's much smaller. Let's see, it should go this way. Kentucky. So it's much smaller. Um, so basically what happened was as the map is folded, I cut along the fold to make this one and I cut along the fold to make this one. This one was like the last part of the fold. You know, it was the last part of the, the little thing, the little map, but it'll make a nice little journal. Uh, then I also wanted to make some envelopes. Um, I'll show you what I did with that one. And I also wanted to use these. And I thought what we would do is maybe make some little, some little sacks. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way. All I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them to overlap. And I, I'm just going to fold them to overlap. Oh, one thing I did before I printed and for the rest of these is I did iron them to just make it a little bit more manageable, but you can still see some of the creases. With the ones that I put through the printer, I really tried to make sure that none of the edges had a, had a crease near it because I had one that had a crease near it and it, um, it jammed. So, you know, Okay, so what I'm gonna what I'm doing is I'm just I'm making a little sack the same way that you would make a coin envelope, which will probably make a couple of those. So I'm gonna do this first. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out oops, not yeah, I'll use this one, that's fine. I'm going to cut this part out. I'm just going to save that middle section. 
and I'm going to barely cut on this side of it. Okay. Like that. And then barely again on this side. Might have been that a little crooked. Okay. Let's see. Yep, so now that's going to go like that. And I think even I'm going to round these corners here. Now they may not be thick enough to... I don't even know if that'll go through here since it's on an angle. Nope. Will it go through here? Nope. Okay. It's a bust. So what I think I'll do is just do it like this. might even since that has a little bit of white I might just put a little bit of vintage photo on it and then I'm gonna reach over here see if I can find <laughs> getting all my scissors out I'm looking oh yeah here it is I'm looking for a specific one okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this side and this side oopsie that out. it feels nice and then I'm just going to go around this you could always coffee dye these you know you could coffee dye your maps It'd be fun Yeah, so that's easy sneezy. I mean, anything you do with paper, you can do with maps. I just thought these would be kind of fun. And then, oh, look at that. And then I, and then, let's see, that's not the one I want. I'll just put these over here. This one's my little scallop one. I'm just going to go over the top. I don't know if you can see that. Well, teeny tiny scallop. It's cute. And if you wanted to, you could scoop. I don't know how good I'm going to be at doing this, but you could scoop down. Maybe it's better if I do it like this. Should have done it probably maybe before we glued it. But you could scoop down the front a little bit. Well, okay. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Now this could go on, you know, a journal page or. You could use it just like you do any other, and you could even fold it, and this one wants to fold where the line was. You could fold it and put it in your in your signature, probably this way, in your signature, and then you could, you know, cut here and put, a, put something in that. But I think they're cute as just little, little sacks. I'm going to try another one and see if, you know, um, doing it before I glue it is going to work better. So that's cute. Cute. Okay. Let's try one more. Just fold it over a little ways. Fold it up. I 
I think these would be fun for party, you know, favors or or what have you. I think it'd be fun, um, you know, like if you're having a bon voyage party for someone, maybe they're going on, you know, maybe your kids are going on summer camp or maybe your um, folks are going on an anniversary trip or something like that. You know, you could make for a little send-off, you could make everybody a little bag of goodies. Okay, let's get that. Let's get this. Oh, wait. Don't forget. I cut that really straight there because I'm going to try to curve it again. I want to see if it works any better that way. Let me curve it out a little bit anyway, so... And where's my, I've got everything, everything out, everything's out. I've got the, <laughs> every scissor I own practically, I've got the art, the art glitter glue, I've got my woohoo, I've got <laughs> almost everything out, brother. This one will really grunge up and see what happens. It's a little easier to grunge. Ooh, I went a little ways on this one. On, um, you know, that little part. Didn't need to go that far. Um, it is a little easier to do before you glue her all down, you know. If you all can hear the birds out there, they're so sweet. Maybe I should open the window one day, but then again, you would hear, you know, those cars racing by super loud. I know you probably hear them anyways, but they're very loud. And then you definitely would hear the train go by. Okay. Yeah, so you can see that I went. So let's just act like that's supposed to be that way. And go around this way. And, you know, you just don't worry about it. It's, you know, it's just paper. It's been sitting on the shelf. So if something goes awry and you can't recover it, don't worry about that. All right, there we go. There's another one. Cute. Super cute. Okay, what else are we going to do? I thought what I would do is a couple of coin envelopes. And let's, let's do it out of one of these. I think I'm going to do it out of this one. And I think I'm going to... i got to move some stuff. I think I'm going to do it out of... Um, Havesies-ish. Havesies-ish here. all this. Okay. Now I'm just looking to see 
that doesn't look like it's going to matter about the so this is you know of course it's basically the same process i i actually don't think i want it that big i think i just wanted about like this so i probably could have gotten three out of that just didn't think that through but this will be fun for like collage or something or to put in my you know collage calendar okay okay that's about the size that I want right there I'm gonna fold this up just a smidgey And then I need to cut this down a bit. I gotta think through. I haven't I haven't made one in a little while. Where's my there it is. I may mess this up. Oh I'm sorry. Find my fold. And then try to keep them together. Just go and add a little bit of an angle to see what happens. Okay, and then that's going to fold down. Okay, so this. And then that one's going to fold down um, about like this. And again, I'm going to just round, round those corners. I wonder if I can use this little guy. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now let's glue. Nope. We got to cut these little things out. Got to remember where they fold because there's a fold lines of the map, so it can be a, a little bit tricky. Yeah, I cut that one a little bit too high. I think I can salvage it though. I went up to that other line. Oh boy. But I think it'll be okay. All right, let's glue her down. I think it's going to need the bone folder too. Okay, I want to tell you a funny story. Um, so my family was over a while back. Uh, back when my niece was here, you all remember Kathy's daughter, Sarah, that helped me with, um, unpacking her wonderful new spellbinder stuff. Um, so anyway, she was over or they, all the whole family was over and we're having dinner and kicking around and just yik yakking and playing games and just having a great time. And my daughter had been having some back muscle issue. And I said, oh, you should buy those things. Uh, we were talking about when you go to the physical therapist and they do massages and they do a scrape. I don't know if, if you've ever had that done, but it's a, it's a thing. It's kind of like an ox bone and it... They, they put um, cocoa butter on you, or like on your shoulder. Uh, like That's where I had it, because uh, I had tennis elbow, and so I was carrying a lot of a lot of strain and stress in my shoulder. Anyway, so they take that, and they uh, put that 
cocoa butter on you. And then they take the, this, this ox bone scraper and they just scrape in the direction of your muscles. And um, it relaxes, you know, it relaxes your muscle. It, not immediately, but it feels really good, I'll tell you that. It feels really good slash it hurts. One of those things. Well, anyways... So I was mentioning this to my daughter. Oh, yeah, you should, you know, have, you know, your physical therapist. And she goes, oh, yeah, I love that. I love it. She said, I'm not going to the physical therapist. And I said, um, well, you can get those on Amazon. And I said, uh, I, I told, I think, one of my grandchildren, yeah, go get Grammy's bone folder. Because in my mind, well, my granddaughters know what a bone folder is because they craft with me. But in my mind, I thought, you know, it's made out of the same material. And um, they will give, you know, kind of give her an idea what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so that's cute, huh? I think that's cute. Okay. So I'll save these for my calendar so um my daughter says well they all look at me like I'm absolutely crazy and have a second you know head growing out of my neck and they're like bone folder why do you have a bone folder and you know for a second there I thought oh my gosh am I am I calling it the right thing am I crazy you know, what's happening? What's going on? And I said, well, to, you know, to really define creases and, you know, when you're folding paper and stuff. And they're like, what do you mean? So my granddaughter went and got the, I think I like that. So I think I'm going to tear this side down. Went and got the bone folder. And they're like, oh my gosh, I thought you had a folder with like a folder like a file folder with photos of bones in it oh boy a bone folder a folder with bones in it and so we all had a good laugh over that and of course my girls thought I was absolutely insane but oh wait that's gonna go inside but anyway so I thought I'd share that with you you had to be it's one of those you had to be there but it was it's still funny a folder with bones in it. Yeah, their mom is... That's crazy time. Okay, so that's going to go out there. This is going to fold up. Um, I almost feel like I just want this to be a little tiny sack, you know. I think that'll be kind of cute in a journal. Could make, you know, a pocket, but this is so pretty. I want to make sure that that's there. And I, I'm going to try again to make the front dip just a little teeny bit. Find the fold. This is super easy when you don't have so much, so many lines going and so many different folds. Why am I having such a hard time? Okay, there's a fold. And there's the fold. Okay. Oh boy. Put my finger there so I don't go too far, hopefully. Did I even go far enough? That. Okay. Anyways, I thought that was funny. My girls always crack me up.
So I was telling you that I'm very visual, so um, I am going to go back to the library uh, today. I had ordered some books, just different crafting books, get my, you know, continue with my crafting juices. It's funny, once you, once you dedicate some time to crafting, it's funny how creative your, I mean, your creative juices just go to town, you know what I mean? Like, you just start thinking of more and more things to do, and and I just love when that happens. Uh, the only down part to that is you can't do everything you want to in as fast as you want to. You know, you always have a backlog, but that's still kind of fun to, you know, when you're thinking, oh, I want to do something today, I don't know what to do, and then you look at your list of things that you have a backlog for. So... I really like how this print turned out on on the map. Um, so you can see here it wants to bend. You could put some washi behind that, I think. But I, I kind of feel like it'll be okay. Well, especially because I'm using it doubled up like this as a as a little envelope thing. I had to remember where I'm gluing. You can see my desk is such a mess. 